Hello everyone. In this video I will discuss one of the films called The Titan. And never forget that I always pray for you and your family to be happy and healthy always. In the year 2048, our beloved planet Earth finally began to show signs of damage due to the growing human population exceeding capacity, leading to numerous natural disasters and widespread famine. To address this, Governments collaborated with scientists to create a program where they would genetically modify 14 soldiers previously selected to become Titanians, humans much stronger than average with powerful adaptive abilities to inhabit a moon named Titan orbiting Saturn. Although Titan has a structure almost similar to Earth, conditions there are more extreme due to its distance from the Sun, requiring them to evolve first to inhabit Titan and build a new civilization for humanity. Before implementing the Titan program, the 14 soldiers and their families were relocated to a settlement directly managed by the government and the Department of Defense, where they could live in luxurious homes and access facilities like supermarkets, malls, schools and hospitals. One of the soldiers named Rick and his wife Abigail, a doctor, initially hesitated, but because they wanted to save their son Lucas, they eventually agreed to join the Titan program, led by a scientist named Dr. Martin Collingwood. Dr. Martin seemed to have high hopes for Rick because he had previously survived the Syrian desert for three days without food and water, despite being severely injured, indicating Rick's ability to withstand extreme environments. In short, after the volunteers completed the data collection, they were taken to a laboratory where Dr. Freya would check their conditions and administer 300 injections containing various serums over the next week to ensure they wouldn't easily fall ill. A week later, when the volunteers completed the first stage, they held a party attended by all volunteers and their families to celebrate their success in completing the first phase of the test. Some expressed concerns about whether they could return to Earth after completing the mission on Titan. However, despite the frightening prospect, they remained committed to the mission, all sharing the same goal of saving their families from Earth's destruction. That night, as Rick and Abigail were about to go to bed, Rick suddenly began experiencing strange symptoms and a high fever. Abigail gave him some fever medicine, hoping he would recover soon. A few days later, after Dr. Martin realized that the DNA in the volunteers' bodies was undergoing changes, he proceeded to the second stage of the experiment, where the volunteers were asked to undergo several endurance tests, one of which was diving without using oxygen tanks. It was observed that only two people managed to survive for more than 30 minutes, Rick and a woman named Tally. However, despite her efforts, Tally eventually gave up at the 39th minute while Rick continued to endure even longer. In fact, he swam incredibly fast, surprising everyone with his abilities. Later, when Rick was at home, he showcased his swimming prowess to Abigail and Lucas. After bidding Lucas goodnight, he returned to the pool to spend time with his wife, while they were having fun, Abigail noticed something like a black-coloured pulse on Rick's body, but suddenly it disappeared, leaving her perplexed. The next day, during Rick's first surgery, the wife of a volunteer named Rayenne visited Abigail to let their children play together. Rayenne expressed her concerns about her husband's well-being. Although Abigail was worried about Rick too, she tried to reassure Rayenne by emphasising that they all needed to stay strong because the main goal of Rick and others on this mission was to save their children's future. When Rick finished his surgery, he seemed fine. However, one night he suddenly woke up feeling overheated. Seeing this, Abigail tried to cool him down with some ice cubes, but to her surprise, when Rick touched the ice, it felt like ordinary water, although when Abigail touched it, she felt it was very cold. The next day, Rick and Abigail went for a run together. After running quite far, they found a special place with beautiful natural scenery. In short, Rick and the other volunteers resumed the third phase of the test, which was much more challenging than the previous ones, involving swimming in cold water and running with special masks to adapt to the extreme environment on Titan. While some volunteers couldn't continue, Rick and Tally seemed to complete all the tests without any issues. However, during the cleaning process, one of the volunteers suddenly began convulsing and eventually passed away. After that incident, the volunteers began to question whether they would experience the same fate as one of the deceased volunteers. Rick then stated that they all had to accept the risks 
because they were doing all of this for their beloved families. On the other hand, while Abigail was helping Tally's husband, Andrew, prepare food, Andrew shared how he met Tally. After Andrew left, Tally mentioned that Andrew seemed to disagree with the Titan mission because he just wanted Tally to be a good wife like the other wives out there. Shortly after, during a dinner gathering, Rayen's husband, Zane, suddenly went berserk and attacked his own wife. The other volunteers had to restrain him until Zane calmed down on his own, while Abigail tried to take Rayen away from the scene. The next day, Freya and some other doctors visited each volunteer individually, providing them with additional medication to prevent incidents similar to Zane's. However, despite this, Abigail was extremely worried because after taking the medication, Rick began to experience strange symptoms, one of which was coughing up blood. Curious, Abigail decided to take a blood sample from Rick for analysis. When she was about to go to sleep, Abigail realized that there were several hidden cameras installed in their home, presumably to monitor them all. Additionally, while Rick was bathing in the pool, his skin suddenly began to peel off. Abigail also noticed that Rick's hair was starting to fall out, which made her even more worried than before. The next day, Abigail examined Rick's blood sample using a microscope and found that Rick's blood was starting to change color to black. In short, the volunteers underwent another operation, where Dr. Martin planned to make some changes to their eyes to make them more like cat eyes, enabling them to see in the dark. Although the surgery went smoothly, Rick still had to wear eye covers to avoid direct light. However, shortly afterwards, Rick began to complain of severe eye pain, forcing him to be hospitalized. There, Abigail asked what Dr. Martin had actually done to the volunteers, but unfortunately, Dr. Martin told Abigail to leave without saying anything. While Abigail was preparing some clothes, she suddenly saw many soldiers gathering at Rayen's house. Unbeknownst to them, Zane went berserk again and accidentally killed his own wife. This forced the soldiers to end Zane's life because it seemed that Zane was showing signs of mutation in his body. Abigail, fearing that Rick would turn out like Zane, secretly tried to enter Dr. Martin's room while he was meeting with the soldiers to discuss the issue with Zane. There, Abigail found some documents about the deceased volunteers. In these documents, Abigail realized that Dr. Martin had been experimenting on the volunteers by combining animal DNA into their bodies, which caused some volunteers to experience DNA damage and emotional changes. Meanwhile, Colonel Solano, a senior figure in the army, seemed unwilling to continue the Titan experiment and ordered Dr. Martin to leave their headquarters. Despite Dr. Martin claiming that he was only conducting tests on the volunteers, it was revealed that he was actually conducting dangerous experiments that caused some volunteers to undergo changes. Besides Colonel Solano, Freya also seemed to disagree with Dr. Martin continuing the experiments after learning that the side effects could result in fatal changes. However, Dr. Martin appeared reluctant to stop the experiments that had progressed so far. In short, when Rick returned home, Dr. Martin tried to explain to Rick and Abigail that they had miscalculated previously, which prevented them from anticipating when Zane's brain would experience an overload. However, Dr. Martin did not want the same incident to happen to Rick, so he requested that Rick undergo another surgery. Abigail refused, tired of Dr. Martin's insane experiments, Dr. Martin expressed concern that, without the surgery, Rick might end up like Zane, leaving Abigail feeling helpless. The next day, after Rick removed his eye covers, he felt that his vision had significantly improved and decided to shave off all his hair to avoid worrying about his constant hair loss. Although initially hesitant, Rick couldn't just stop midway, so he informed Dr. Martin that he would continue the experiment despite Abigail's objections. Several days later, the volunteers began a series of operations. Unfortunately, some of them eventually passed away because they couldn't withstand the changes in their bodies, leaving only Rick and Tally, who successfully completed all the experiments. After witnessing the changes in Rick and Tally's bodies, Abigail seemed speechless, as Rick and Tally could now only communicate at a very low frequency, rendering them unable to converse with humans anymore. Temporarily, Rick and Tally were allowed to return home. However, due to their changed bodies, Rick accidentally injured Abigail, causing her fear and reluctance to approach Rick again. In short, 
When Abigail finished bidding good night to Lucas, she noticed something strange outside her house. Upon investigation, she discovered Tally with bloodstained hands, having previously attacked and killed Andrew. At the same time, the soldiers realized that Tally had committed murder against her husband, so they attempted to stop her by shooting. They also tried to stop Rick, but he fought back against all the soldiers and eventually defeated them all before fleeing. Afterward, Colonel Solano instructed his subordinates to immediately locate Rick, showing no concern even when Dr. Martin attempted to intervene because Rick was a threat to them all. On the other hand, Abigail, unwilling to lose Rick, tried to find him in the beautiful place they had visited together. Her hunch proved correct as she found Rick hiding there. Despite feeling afraid, Abigail approached Rick and reached out his hand, then kissed him. Shortly after, the soldiers finally located them. In short, when Abigail regained consciousness from fainting, Dr. Martin informed her that the soldiers had ceased all their experiments. He advised sending Rick to Titan, because if Rick remained on Earth, he would gradually become insane like Tally did before. Abigail and Dr. Martin then went to where Rick was being held by the soldiers, where Dr. Martin intentionally trapped Abigail into injecting a serum called Quetiapine, capable of erasing Rick's memories. However, Abigail seemed to realize Dr. Martin's plan, and after injecting the serum into Rick, she kissed him and then urged Dr. Freya to leave immediately. Shortly after, when one of the soldiers approached Rick, he suddenly attacked the soldier and escaped because Abigail had replaced the Quetia Pine serum with another serum beforehand. After Abigail took Lucas away from there, they finally reunited with Rick. However, when Dr. Freya was about to treat Rick's wounds, the soldiers arrived and pointed their guns at them. For the last time, Dr. Martin asked Abigail, Lucas and Freya to leave Rick before the soldiers shot them. However, Abigail refused, so Colonel Solano ordered his subordinates to arrest Dr. Martin because he wouldn't harm women and children. Hearing this, Abigail immediately hugged Rick, which finally allowed Rick to remember his beloved family from his past. In short, some time later, Abigail and Dr. Freya resumed Project Titan II, but with much more humane methods, as their original goal was to save humanity from the destruction of Earth. On the other hand, after Rick arrived on Titan, he immediately embarked on a mission to find a location to establish a civilization by utilizing his body's ability to manipulate gravity there. And then the film ended. And that's it for the story series of this film. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.